Today's gonna be a good day. After coffee. <sighs> Crack of 11.30, but I had a refreshing dip. I'm gonna go jump in the cold, cold water. Why am I wearing this? Because I'm gonna be naked when I do that. This is the only safe angle that I can record from. have this weird shame whenever I leave a campsite that late in the day. But uh, this trip maybe is a lesson in letting go. No shame in sleeping in. No shame in getting a late start. No shame in fixing your motorcycle with zap straps and duct tape. Jeremy, you're just who you are. And if you can't accept yourself by the age of 48, then when is that gonna happen? So today is just a day of riding a twisty gravel road in the mountains of British Columbia without a destination, without an agenda. I will camp in Greg's backyard tonight in Kimberley, or I won't. If I don't, I'll sleep somewhere. Like, that will happen. Why worry about it? Rene Cormier, I talked to him He's a friend of mine, and I just listened to his audiobook called uh, The University of Gravel Roads. You don't have to make that sound when you're pronouncing it. It's just called The University of Gravel Roads. Anyway, in that book, he talks about something that he had stenciled onto his motorcycle. And it's a, it's a Buddhist saying, I think. And it is simply, nothing happens next. I love that. See if this guy is okay. Good. You you're doing okay? Yeah, we just uh, came back from the hot springs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I've never been up here before. I don't know where I am or where I'm going. Oh, you're not. I think we recognized you. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're the uh, guy from Calgary, right? That does the uh, uh, went down to South America. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, recording you right now, by the way. I hope you don't have any objections. <laughs> no, that's fine. If you do, I'll edit that out. Yeah, no worries. No, right up here is, uh, we just came up from Ram Hoff Springs. Okay. Yeah, so you go back there. Well, there you go. Wasn't I just talking about this? About letting go of plans? About living in the moment? About going with the flow and seeing where the day may lead? I was, wasn't I? And then, as if to illustrate that point, I meet a trio of riders who tell me about these wild hot springs. They give me directions too. Follow this gravel road until it dead ends, they say. Then go for a little hike. Sounds easy enough. Oh, and there's a water crossing too, but they all agree that it should be no problem for me and my KLR. With no other real plan for the day, the hot springs sound like a perfect diversion, and I decide to go check them out. Nice meeting you guys. I'll see what I find. So there you go, that's uh, huh. You don't have these opportunities when you're just on a schedule and you just gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I do not like this gravelly stuff. And the thing is I am by myself, so I don't really wanna crash. Now we get to some gravelly curbage. Uh. Try to not burn out my clutch. I don't know, you guys, if I would have said go up here with a KLR 650.
I've got to come down this too. Ugh. So, if I did not have 200 pounds worth of, ugh, sheesh. If I didn't have like 150 pounds of camping gear, I don't know how much I've got, but I've got my computer, I've got my camping gear and cook stove. Ugh. This is uh, not happy terrain for a KLR that is loaded up. I don't want to slip my clutch. Here's the water crossing that they were talking about. I'm gonna walk this actually. <sighs> so yeah, there is no problem with this gravelly watery stuff, but then there's a bit of a beaver dam here. I guess if I don't care about putting my feet down, I can just ride over that, no problem. More water, more gravel. Yeah, I think I can do it. Well, I know I can do it, but can I do it gracefully? The answer is probably no. <laughs> Stupid beavers. Nature's vandals. Okay. It's not deep. It's just gravel. Gravel underneath. This part. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. And I did it. Let's see that again from another angle. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, huh, that camera angle makes it look like he's going the other way. And you're right. I didn't set up any cameras on the ride into the hot springs. So on the ride back, since my boots were wet anyway, I set up my tripods for the ride out. This is the second crossing. Oh hey, and since I've got your attention, look, you're still watching this video, which means you obviously like it, right? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and it's free. Okay, enough of that. We're through the water now and still trying to find these hot springs. <laughs> You know, this is what happens when you talk to strangers. I actually don't really care about the hot springs, you know, so why I'm doing this is a question that I cannot really answer. That was me trying to not feather the clutch, and so stalled the bike. The KLR is a bit of a tractor, but uh, it's not you know that much of a tractor, I guess. Ugh. Okay, you guys, good advice on this road. This is an awesome road. Um, but if I were advising a KLR rider <laughs> of my skill and ability with fully loaded camping gear, I would say, eh, yeah, you might be able to do it instead of, oh yeah. Pretty little butterflies. So I'm gonna say, no, I'm not going up Great Pass today. This is better. I don't know if the microphone is picking up all those bangs, but uh, once again, my aftermarket ugh, skid plate is doing a bang up job. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Bing. <laughs> I keep searching for a lower gear. I am in first gear and I keep trying to go down. <sighs> that is partially because I just put on a 16 tooth front sprocket. Not great for this stuff. Great for the highway. This stuff, no. No. Here is the dead end that they were talking about, I think. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a hike and see what I see. Join me, won't you? This is a lesson in serendipity and uh, leaving things open to change. Uh, had my plan been incredibly rigid, I would have never found this cool road. Uh, it was hair raising and we'll see what this hike is like. Looks like I got a little hummock road closed over there. Uh, I'm gonna try to find some hot springs. Let's see what happens. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you watch this entire hike. I'm just gonna get an establishing shot here and then I'll shut the camera down. I do not know where I'm going. Apparently there's a creek and then there is a hike and then there are hot springs. Well, this must be the place. Looks like uh, some stone walls have been erected to kind of trap some of the hot water. That's just like bath water. That is perfect. That is perfect for me. I don't like uh, super hot springs. I can grab a spot in the shade. <sighs> Thus ends today's moto vlog with a happy accident. Wasn't I just talking about leaving things open and planning less and just living in the moment more? Well, couldn't get a better example than this. Uh, I'm not going to show you much more than what I'm currently showing you because I'm in my birthday suit. Uh, I think I'm okay here. Nobody around. And if the morality police want to come and arrest me, then they're going to have a heck of a time. Doing my best not to show my twig and berries, and then at the same time trying to not look unnatural. How's this? Now my hands are wet, I'm trying to play with them. Camera, ooh, oh, that's a bad angle. <laughs>